So in today's Lords of the Fallen video, we're going to take a look at some amazing armor sets you can get from quite early on. If you want to have a lot more defenses, survive for more, or just look really awesome, these are the ones for you. Now, some of them will require you to go in special places and collect different items to bring back at Skyrest, while others you will just find in specialized chests after you progress a bit and unlock adjacent areas. Let's get started with these two armor sets right here, including the Purger and the awesome looking Vanguard armor. Both of these you unlock at Executor Dunmeyer back at Skyrest by bringing him a bunch of specialized items, including a scripture and a rosary that progressively unlocks these armors for you to buy from him. So the first one is going to be a scripture you find very close to the Bell Room waypoint. So from this waypoint right here, simply make your way down the path as usual until you find this cascade slash um, kind of like a lake area. Simply pop in the other realm, jump down and follow the area all the way at the top. On the way, you might encounter a bunch of other chests and treasures. Definitely pick them up too as they are also very useful. But eventually you will make your way right here at the upper deck area. You will spot that there is an archway in the very back end. This is the place you want to be in. Simply head over there, ignore all enemies, and you will find upon this cage the first one, which is the Hallowed Sentinel Scripture. Once you get it, bring it back to Dunmire, and this is now going to give you access to a new armor set, which is the Purger Armor. Now, personally, I find that the gauntlets and the feet on this can definitely combine very well with other armors. They are also considered heavy armor items, so they will provide quite a lot of defenses, a lot more than the Hallowed Knight starting armor for example so it will be a pretty decent upgrade now the second armor is going to be the vanguard again from the same npc this requires a bloody rosary that you will find in the swamp area by going and starting from the fan waypoint so this is going to be one of the first you will unlock in that location from this point on simply make your way and follow the path down this area like how i am right now Eventually, this should bring you to this very large branch as well as a bonfire. You're going to ignore that for now and instead keep it to the right. There's a bunch of houses inside of here that you can use to reach the area at the top. It's a slight shortcut, but um, it's the best way. From this point on, simply continue on the path straight forward up until you reach this section where you have to go through a cave covered by some vines. Once you do that, simply again keep it to the right side, go past these NPCs and kind of circle around to reach the upper section that you've just been into. Now at some point here you will notice that there is a ladder, this is going to unlock a shortcut that you can use, but um, if you just keep a little bit forward you're going to reach a slight boss area. So once you defeat that boss, this is going to open up the remaining section, you can again circle around and reach this second portion with this abandoned shack. And here you will notice that there's a fallen soldier as well as an item next to him. This is going to give you the Vanguard Rosary. And you're going to now bring this back at the NPC. And once you do that, you will notice that the Vanguard armor has just been unlocked. In my opinion, it looks really awesome, provides even more defenses than the previous one. And like I said, yeah, that gauntlet on the Purger armor fits very well with this. It's also heavy, so you can get even more defenses as a result. In my opinion, a build you can use pretty much all the way into the end game. Now, in case these two armors don't unlock at Danmire, you might need to give him two more items before that. So this includes the Bloody Aspergillium as well as the Book of the Sin, both of which you find very close to Skyrest and between that and the Pilgrim's Perch location. So the first one is going to be at Sanctuary. You can reach this waypoint very easily from the castle but just take these ladders up two times. This is going to bring you to an upper kind of like church area. You're going to want to make your way to the other side and eventually down. There's even a boss in this location, but you don't need to actually defeat that. Simply jump down to these enemies and here with the big statue, you will notice that there is an item on the ground that's going to be the bloody thing that you can bring back at Dunmire. For the second item you can actually find by simply progressing forward from this point on so through pilgrim's perch and it's going to be right at the end of pilgrim's perch as you make your way to the bell room so you're going to actually have to go all the way to this larger section platform with a bunch of these annoying enemies and then once you activate the umbral realm you will see that there are a couple of tentacles that you need to destroy to open the final location 
but for the last section you will make your way down the spines all the way down here at the bottom with the last tendril but there's also this statue that you can activate and this is now going to give you that book of sin from this point on you can just go to the bell room activate that and then teleport to skyrest give it to dan meyer and you're pretty much done this should now unlock every single armor up to the vanguard for the time being now for the next armor as well as unlocking other areas and progressing further in the game you're going to need the pilgrim's perch key and luckily stomund back at skyrest sells it to you for almost 10k vigor so definitely go ahead and buy it right away among others this also unlocks that secret room back at pilgrim's perch so make your way over there progress just as usual through these caves until you reach this area with the flower bed as well as that locked dungeon simply open it go inside and in the back you're going to notice that there's this chest and this gives you access to this really cool looking armor set this armor is pretty great early on as it provides defenses against physical and holy damage plus its resistance to smite and holy buildup are not too shabby and you will fight quite a number of enemies that kind of deal both of these early on so it will help you quite a bit and in my opinion it looks really cool if you're going with that barbarian look like how i said now the next one is going to be the angel of the void armor and yeah this is going to let you look pretty much like death itself but it also provides really great physical defenses and defenses against poison and other poison buildups so again you will find this in the swamp area back from the fan waypoint there are of course going to be shortcuts here that you can activate but i'm going to just show you the default route so you're going to start from the waypoint and simply make your way as usual down the same path we're going to try to lead back at the same large branch as we just did before for the rosary again you can use the houses if you want to but in this case i'm just going to go past the bonfire and we'll continue down this wooden path simply keep on it as much as you can this is going to bring you to the destination eventually past that suspended bridge and eventually all the way right here in the back now there are going to be a bunch of enemies in this larger area but you're going to want to ignore them and eventually this will bring you to a location with a second large bonfire i definitely suggest using this flower bed right here to create a waypoint a vestige so that you can yeah just backtrack to it just in case so just to show you how the route looks like once you fully unlock it you're going to make your way down here there's going to be a locked door that you will need to open Keep it to this right side all the way in the back and then a little bit slightly to the right again you're going to find the chest with the armor right by this wall so to reach that in the first place and unlock that door we're going to have to make way to the other side in the third bonfire area so you're going to have to actually make this bridge right here collapse go at the top and this is going to let you destroy one of those tentacles that blocks the next section once you do that this is going to unlock this second tunnel so you're going to use it keep it again all the way to the right and just circle around until you reach this third bigger bonfire right here from this point on simply follow the suspended wooden bridge all the way in the back there's going to be this thing that you can collapse to create the shortcut right from the waypoint you just created and down here if you jump down you're going to find the two statues that will deactivate the final locked um, location that brings you access to the area that contains the chest with the armor so you can go ahead grab it and it's now pretty much yours and yeah the armor like i said is not too shabby it brings you quite a lot of resistances to the things that you absolutely need especially when it comes to frostbite and poison there's quite a lot of build up in these stages plus a boss that is ahead of you so yeah this can help quite a bit with that a very awesome armor set indeed that also has that really cool skull helmet make you look really really menacing now the final armor we're going to cover in this video is the fitzroy set this is going to be the heaviest and provides as such the highest defensive capability at this point in the game which is somewhere between early to mid game not really mid game just yet but it's going to be past that swamp area once you finish it the horse boss as well as the beacon you go past it and you will reach this fitzroy's gorge location so from this point on it's just a matter of progressing through it there's no other routes you can just follow the main road up until you reach this sort of big bridge as well as the big tower slash castles in the background you just progress past these enemies and eventually you will reach this upper courtyard very large but there's also this bigger section with the tower on the left side of it 
So simply circle around from this point on to the cemetery. Don't go to the cemetery to the right, but instead keep it to the left. This is going to bring you to the tower entrance. And from this point on, you can just go the normal way at the top. There's going to be ladders and stairs that bring you over there. You can also switch to the Umbral Realm to avoid any fire damage, but it can also work in the normal one. So once you're at the top, right next to the flare, you can just open the chest and get the full armor. Now, this is going to be a bit more pompous than the others, but the defenses on it are going to be really good. This will carry you even more than some of the other options until you find much better ones in the mines a bit later from this point on. But definitely carries you quite a bit and it is going to be worth it. And this, ladies and gents, pretty much concludes today's video. Totally check out some of the others I covered for Lords of the Fallen, including some of the biggest mistakes that I wish I knew early, plus a really awesome Paladin build that you can get started and get super strong from very early on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.